Hello. Uh, my name is Muhammad Amr Dayan. I'm from Star Institute. Same here, sir. My Can I confirm your uh, name and level, please? My name is Dr. Asad Abbas. I'm a level one student. Nice to meet you, Dr. Asad. And how can I help you today? Sir, can you please teach me about basketball poisoning toxicity? All right. How much do you know about that? Not much, sir. It is just the common, most common. No problem. Area. No problem. So please concentrate with me. If you have any question, feel free to ask me immediately at the end. I will give you some lectures and online resources for further study, and I will be happy to meet you again for further discussion. Thank All right. You, sir. So regarding paracetamol toxicity, the toxic dose is 75 milligrams per kilograms or more. Okay which changed from the previous guidelines, which was 150 milligrams per kilogram. So, could you tell me what is the toxic dose of paracetamol? It's 75 milligrams per kg. All right. And if the patient presented uh, within one hour, then consider giving activated charcoal uh, if the area is protected. All right. And we take the paracetamol level only uh, at least four hours from the time of ingestion. Okay? If the patient presented before four hours, for, uh, before completed four hours from the time of ingestion, just observe the patient. And if he present between four to eight hours, then take the paracetamol level immediately. And if the result will be available within eight hours, then wait. But if the result will be delayed more than eight hours, then start, and he took the toxic dose, then start the anesthetic system. Can you repeat this for me? Yes, sir. Like if the patient presents within one hour of ingestion, we have to give activated charcoal uh, if the airway is protected. And then after four hours, we have to send the uh, sample. Fantastic. Just in case if the patient is present in two, before four hours, we need to do monitoring of the patient. Okay. And if the results are available within eight hours of overdose, then we have to wait for the result. And if it is, it is taking longer, then we have to start an acetyl system if the doses are higher than 75 mg. Excellent. Uh, regarding the treatment, uh, we use uh, an acetyl system. All right, it should be given intravenously, okay? But if for any reason the patient cannot uh, receive the IV formulation, you can give the same anesthetic system per oral in a different dose, okay? okay? And this is uh, a change from the previous guidelines which uh, we, we used to use uh, methylene, which okay. is no longer recommended now, okay. all right? Uh, so, uh, do you have any question for me? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I have these two charts. There is one graph, mm -hmm. and there is some infusion uh, okay. in detail. Okay. Can you please explain me the graph, sir? All right. So this is the first demo line graph. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, it gives us a guidance on uh, if the dose of first demo uh, is like toxic and it needs treatment or not. But we can't use it if the patient took staggered overdose. Right, or we will send the level if staggered, but just to confirm if positive, if like elevated, then uh, that confirms the ingestion. But if below the line, it will not rule out toxic dose, all right, in the staggered overdose. Okay. But in single overdose, then if the level of paracetamol, because uh, this is the time, okay, and this is the paracetamol concentration, if the level above the treatment line then you have to treat, okay? That's it. And uh, what about this, sir? Uh, as I get it, like if a person is 70 kg, well, how much infusion will we give? The infusion, uh, do you mean for the first infusion? Yes. So it's ready already. If the patient is 70 kilograms, mm -hmm. the infusion rate would be uh, 257 uh, 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 ml per hour. Okay, sir. All right? And uh, in what fluid do we mix NSL system? Yeah, so usually in the extras 5%, okay. but if not available, uh, you can use normal saline 0.9%. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. And nice to meet you. Thank and you. Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to meet you again sure, for sir. further discussion. All right. Yeah, Thank you.